Okay, hello everyone. Here is an example of how you can make yourself a simple list of repeating tasks for yourself in Airtable. Let's say you have certain things that need to be done once a week and you need to remind yourself to do them every week. So what you want is your list of tasks. You've got three tasks here. The date that they're due, which you can set manually, and a tick box field for when you've completed each of those tasks. Now what you want to happen is each time you mark a task as complete, you want a new record to be created for the same task that's due one week later. And this has been set up so that will happen and I will just take you through how that works. So let's say we've completed task one today. We tick complete and we have a field here that shows us the date that it's completed. And that happens to be today's date, the 12th of March. And we have a formula field here that's showing us the date one week later. That's one week on from the date that the task has been completed. And you'll notice what's happened is we've created a new record automatically that's also called task one with the date set for one week after it was originally completed. So each time you tick task one, you will get a new record called task one due one week after you completed the task. So let's just see how that works. Your date completed field here is just a last modified time field and it's set to only show you when specific fields are updated. So that's the completed field. So whenever you tick the complete box, you will get the date in here. If we tick task two, there we are. And again, we've got a new record for task two on the 19th. The one week later formula field just works simply with the date add function, which adds seven days onto the date completed. So you just want to use date add, date completed, comma, seven comma days so seven days after the task was completed and i've just wrapped that inside an if statement because if you don't do that what you get in here if we just take that out i'll show you you get an error in this one week later field that doesn't really matter but you may not want to see that so if you put it inside a if date completed is not empty, then do this. So if date completed is empty, your one week later field will be blank as well. That's not essential. You can just use date add on its own and it will achieve the same goal that you're trying to achieve here. Now, the only other thing you need then is the automation and the automation is what is creating a new record whenever you've marked one as complete. So your trigger is if complete is checked in the repeating tasks table, then the action is create a new record. So again, in the same table, in the name field, so that's the name field of the new record, you want to put the same name as the record you've just ticked as complete. So to do that, you just add in name and in the due date field you want to take the contents of the one week later field and add that into the due date in the new task so once again you would just take the one week later field and add that in there and that's all you need to do if i create a new task now task four it's due on the 25th of March. Well, that's more than a week ahead. So let's say it's due on the 12th of March, which is today. I complete it today. That gives me a new task for the 19th of March, one week from now. Each time I take that, I'll get a new task. Then my, what you might want to do is group your tasks into ones that you've completed and ones that you've haven't or 
and ones that you haven't. Or alternatively, you might just want to hide anything that's been completed. So you would filter in that case. And you want to filter anything that's not complete. So anything that is complete is hidden. And there you go.